All right, fellas, uh, building a bracket for uh, to mount the uh, coolant reservoir. And uh, we can get this welded up, and then I'll show you what we got going on. There's one side and go ahead and turn it around and get the other side. Uh, decent load. Good penetration. Let this cool down and uh, we'll take it over to the car and uh, show you what I'm doing. Alright, this is what we got going on. Um, I mounted this uh, coolant jug here. I made a bracket underneath and it holds uh, the bottom. It's got two uh, nipples or legs to go into the grommets on the bracket below. Then I had to make this top bracket you know, to hold it nice and steady so it ain't going nowhere. Then we got the hose running down to a T it goes into the you know the um the hell am I trying the thermostat in the housing and they go up to the hoses up into the the where the crossover deletes at. Um got the down pipes mounted. It's a pretty tight fit down there. And uh we're gonna have to make the exhaust from there. Let me get it focused here for you. And uh, so yeah, we got them on. We got to test fit the blanket. It's gonna be a tight fit on the fan. Um, the fan spins without hitting it, so that's fine. Hopefully, that uh, blanket will keep the, the plastic fan from melting. And uh, got to finish wiring or uh, making the hoses for the oil feed there. What that's gonna do is uh, it's gonna have it sit here, and then it's gonna wire off to each turbo to feed the oil to it. And uh, what else we got going on? I got, got the heater hoses started from the back of the, the uh, heads to the um, heater core. So we're going to run AC on this. I got the AC kind of temporary mounted. I got to get it, get the bracket put on it and get it mounted. Get the hoses ran up to the condenser. It's a tight fit, I'll tell you that much, but. So. That's basically where we're at. And uh, we got a little odds and ends. Got to do some hoses up. Finish some one drain on the left hand turbo there. Um, get that into the oil pan. And, uh, and then that'll be complete. Um, got to get one lower radiator hose. Got to look around and see what kind of hose I can get to fit that. So that's done. And then the last thing on the fuel system, I got to run the return line. Um, from the regulator up there, it's hiding behind this towel here. Got to get the return line off that, run it into the fender well underneath the car and back to the fuel cell. And then that'll be complete. Um, first of the month here, we're getting, I already got the wiring harnesses for the uh, Mega Score 3 with the expansion card on it. So I can run this full sequ sequential fuel and uh, ignition. And uh, we're getting the uh, got the harnesses but we're getting the computer uh, first of the month and uh, we'll get that all wired in uh, like I said trains is in drive shaft um, we gotta put in still that's sitting over there and uh, let's get that in damn thing fell 
focus. So that's basically what we're doing. Then we gotta find a place to put that uh, catch can. And uh, we got two fittings in a valve cover, one on each side. I don't know if you can see that. This thing to adjust. Um, got the fitting there. It's threaded, dash 10. One of these on both sides. The other one's over there. You can see it sitting there. I'm going to run that to the catch can. We're going to figure out where we're going to mount it. So, so yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. And, uh, turn this around. Hopefully, soon we'll be able to uh, get this thing fired up and hear it roar to life. And, uh, See if we can go fishing on the streets. See if we can make a couple dollars. And uh, we'll get it all tuned. And then uh, once it's all tuned, we'll get her out, take her out to the track and uh, see what she'll do. Hopefully, first time out, we'll run, you know, hopefully we can hit at least a 10. And uh, if we turn the boost up and it's, you know, it's, it's running good and the track's good, we might shoot for a 9. Um, but should definitely have the power to do it. So, the only problem is we're. Uh, we're running the TR3650 trains that came in these, and the stock input shaft is uh, not exactly uh, strong, I guess you could say. So once you get up over 500 horsepower, they tend to, to snap the input shaft. So we're going to run that train until it lets go, and then uh, when it does, we're going to go um, with a 4R75W automatic transmission, manual valve body trans brake, the whole deal. So. So hopefully the manual trans will last a little while. We can get, get some runs out of it, and then uh, you know once it breaks, uh, we'll go ahead and switch it out. But it's basically where we're at, and uh, probably have another video coming up here pretty soon, and uh, we'll get some more stuff done. Got to get some hoses ordered and a couple more fittings, and uh, in that computer. So. We'll go ahead and get a video put out in a couple days and uh, show what we got going on. Alright fellas, see you next time.